Hey, hello. How are you? How's it going, uh, Nuri? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Nice to see you here so early. So how was how was work today? Oh, a lot of work. A lot of work. I was working on the platform too. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So mm -hmm. how, how are you doing with the platform? Hmm? How are you doing with the platform? Mm. So so. <laughs> Why? Well, what? <laughs> What did you have issues with? Some some exercise I is difficult are difficult. Some exercises are difficult. Yeah. All right. Well, I can understand that. Pretty good. Okay. So. Uh, all right. We'll see how that goes. Welcome, Alejandra. Nice to see you. How are you? Hi. Very good. Thank you. All right. I um, we're gonna go over the. Well, we wait for everybody. You know what? Let's do something. Let's go over the platform right now. So you had a question regarding one of the exercises from the platform, right? Yeah, yeah, that I completed the test, but on the test itself, on the platform, it says that everything is correct, uh, but it's still showing me like 84%, and I don't know why. All right. So, could you, could you please show me your screen? Oh, yeah. All right. Hello, Maylin. Welcome. How are you? How was your day? Do you see it? Yes. I'm fine. Great. David, I have a question for the platform. Tell me. And I, the exercise. And the course number one, and listening and exercise one, and 2.1. I don't know what is the answer. We'll go through that, okay? Uh, yes, I can see what you're telling me, Alejandra. 33, 33, 34. Yeah, but it still shows me. I don't know why. Okay, so that, that that's definitely that's definitely an error from the platform. Okay, so I will report it, and but but yeah, you have 100%. Okay. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Meili, show me your screen, right? And show me the the uh, the exercise that you're talking about. So, um, so yeah, if you come across issues like that, guys, I'll report them, okay? Because those are definitely issues from the platform itself, not not you, okay? So, what is the typical problem? <clears throat> is that a, is that the listening exercise? Yes. Okay. What is the typical problem? Um, all right, scroll down. First of all, uh, I don't think that you should put a period at the end. All right. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know what that answer is, but what what is the answer that you got, guys? There wheels. Wheels. Is that the answer? Is that wheels? Is that the answer that you have to? Let me check. Which is that one? Mm -hmm. That is, uh, could you please scroll up a little bit? Oh, that's 11. 11. Yeah. I think, I think we'll. Uh, let me see. Did you make sure that you don't have extra spaces? No. Really? All right. Oh, yeah, it's their wheels, not mm -hmm. just wheels. The wheels, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, lowercase. No Thank you. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. Good job, guys. Um, anything else, guys, from the platform? All right. Good job. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Alejandra. All right, guys. So uh, let's get started. Okay. So let's talk about uh, present continuous passive and present perfect passive. Okay. All right. So um, what have you heard about? First of all, guys, what is present continuous? Do, do we know what present continuous is? Could you please give me an example of what a present continuous is? What is it? It is an, it is an action that is occurring. OK. Um, well, it's an actually, action that occurred that starting in the past and still continues in the present, I believe. Okay. All right. Very good. So we have a continuous action. Okay. So it's a suppressing so continuous guys is used to talk about an action that is happening right about now, like in right at this moment, right? It can also be used to talk about the future, right? Like I'm seeing you next week, right? You could say that. Um, but it doesn't mean that you're seeing them in that moment. It means that you're going to see them next week, right? Um, but yes, guys, the present continuous is, you know, usually used to talk about something that you're doing right now. For example, Nuri, what are you doing right now? I'm watching my notebook. I'm, I'm taking a look at my notebook. I'm reading my notebook, not watching, okay? Watching is like you are, somebody's going to steal it, all right? Yeah. Nobody's going to steal it, okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Maylin, what are you doing right now? Um, see the computer? No, see the computer is not present continuous. If you say see the computer, okay, this is not present continuous, okay? So, what is present continuous? Um, see, I'm listening to the teacher. I'm seeing, right, the PC or Somebody said, oh my God, something's going on with my throat. I'm listening, listening to guys. Okay, don't forget to, right? To the teacher, all right? <clears throat> so I'm listening to the teacher, okay? Very good, okay? So it is an action that you're doing at right at this moment, guys, okay? All right, very well. And what is present perfect, guys? Now, this one is a little bit more complicated, right? So what do you think present perfect is? Jenny, hello, Jenny. What do you think present perfect is? Can you, can you give me an example of present perfect? OK. Uh, what had you done? Is that simple? OK, very good. So we have what have what had you, you done? done. Right? Mm -hmm. So what have you done? OK, so this is an example, guys, of present perfect. Very good. Um, and that's a question, by the way, right? Uh, David, give me another example of present perfect. 
Uh, it doesn't need to be a question, right? You can. You can I have seen sense. the rain. Okay, so I've seen the rain. Are you saying this because you're listening to that song? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The, the the one have you ever seen the rain? Right, that okay, uh, yeah. All right, very good. Um, Alberto, give me another example of present perfect. I have cooked dinner. I've guys, when you're speaking, all right, you need to say I've, okay? Because usually, guys, people don't say I have, okay? Uh, people say I've when you are writing things you say i have okay so i you said i've uh cooked uh dinner right yes yep. very good guys okay really good job <clears throat> all right good job okay uh so those are examples guys of present continuous and passive and, and i'm sorry in present perfect now what is the word passive do you remember passive voice what, what was passive voice guys does anybody remember an example of passive voice? Uh, Rafael Mayen, do you recall any example of passive voice? Right now, I can recall teacher. Sorry. That's okay. Kathy, do we recall any example of passive voice? The window, the window was broken. The window was broken. Okay, very good. Um, the window was broken. <clears throat> okay. All right. Very good, actually. Um, Oli, do we remember an example of passive voice? Not here. <laughs> All right. Very good, guys. Okay. All right. Super good no. job, guys. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Yes, Oli. Sorry. I thought that you finished. Yeah. Uh, um... No, no. No, okay, that's 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 fine. Okay, that's that's absolutely fine. Okay. Very good, guys. So we're gonna go over uh passive voice with prepositions and present continuous passive as well. Okay. So uh the objective for today's agenda, Alejandro Escobar, could you please be so kind to help us read? Ali Alejandro. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. By the end of the, of the class, you were able to describe cows with, by, because of, do, to, true, and as a result of. You will do so by using present continuous passive and the present perfect passive. Good job. Okay. So, guys, causes with by, because this of. This is my song. All right. As a result of. Okay. So, that's what we're going to learn today. All right. So let's talk about passive with prepositions, guys, okay? Now, a passive voice, guys, <clears throat> just just uh, so you have an example, okay? Let's talk about the first example that we have here, okay? All right? First of all, guys, <clears throat> we use passive with prepositions to talk about, to talk about what? Because of something. All right, because the something. cause of something, okay? So we use it to talk about the cause of, the cause of something, right? So um, let's take a look at the first example, okay? And we're gonna go over it. Uh, David, please help me read. Uh, the air is being, being polluted by food from cars and trucks. Okay, to repeat, polluted. 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 All right. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Okay. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Very good, guys. Okay. All right. So let's analyze that example. Okay. Because I, I need to understand, guys, what, what passive voice is and what it accomplishes. Okay. So let's talk about that particular example. Okay. So we got passive um, we got passive voice here, okay? All right. So the example says, the example says, um, the air is being polluted, right? The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks, okay? By fumes from cars and trucks, okay? All right, guys. So we got this sentence here, okay? So... <clears throat> 
So let's see what, what we're talking about. Okay. All right. So the reason why, guys, this is passive voice is because because of the rock star of the sentence. Okay. And I'll explain to you what I mean in a moment. Okay. All right. <clears throat> if I wanted to say this, guys, with active voice, which, you know, active voice is usually what we used to talk, guys, in English. All right. Passive voice is used to, uh, is used in newspapers, you know, for example, right? When you're reading something. All right. So active voice here, guys, would be the fumes, for example, right? Well, does anybody want to try, guys, to uh, transform this into active voice, if you remember? The fumes from cars and trucks. Very good. Um, cars and trucks. Are being are being pol pol polluted the the air. No. Are polluting air. polluting uh -huh. the air. All right. So this is the active voice, guys. Okay. All right. Do they mean the same thing? Yes or no, guys? Yes. 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 They mean the exact same thing, right? So this is the difference between passive and active voice. Okay. So now let me highlight the uh, the things that make it passive and or make it active okay all right so the first thing that we come across here is <clears throat> all right who is the inactive voice guys right inactive voice who is performing the action the fumes from cars and trucks guys this works as this works guys okay very good so that's that's the object right so this works guys as the subject okay all right, so this is the subject. Um, this is the subject, guys, of active voice, right? Then you have the verb be, and I'll tell you why you have the verb be here, okay? And then you have the ing form, okay? The ing form of the verb. And then you have, you know, the complement, right? <clears throat> Anyways, so, okay. So you have the complement here, right? So what is this, guys? Okay, what tense is this? The fumes from cars and trucks are polluting the air. What tense is that? Present continuous. Very good, okay? These guys, okay, all of this is, all right? So all of these guys is present continuous, right? Or progressive, whatever you want to call it. Continuous, okay? So present continuous, guys, or progressive, okay? Whatever, whatever satisfies you the most okay <laughs> right um let's see uh, let's see alberto marin do my favor sir could you please give me another sentence and talk talk to me about talk to me about a problem from society all right and i want you to give me an example with um with present present progressive, okay? Just present progressive, present continuous. Okay, using present continuous, talking about uh, talking about the cause, the, the cause of something, all right? Give me the cause of a problem. Okay, let's see, like. You can say the smokers example, are destroying the atmosphere. Very good. The smokers are destroying the atmosphere, right? Very good. Yeah. I like I like this. Okay. Very good. Good job. Uh, Alejandro Escobar, could you please give me another example? Do my favor, everybody. Write at least one example, guys, uh, okay, right now. Write it down in your notebook. I don't know. The... You can say, for example, ladies. Are can... destroying an oh, no, yes, yes. The what? I'm sorry? Um, some radioactive substances are, I don't know. 
All right, think about your answer and give me and give it to me in a moment, okay? All right, uh, write it down in your notebook and then I'll ask for it, okay? You can say, guys, okay? I'll, I'll tell you a problem. I'll, I'll tell you about a problem, guys, okay? You can say, you know, Cheyenne is stealing, right? Stealing our mothers, right? So you could say this, right? That's a, a, a real big problem, okay? Right, Cheyenne is stealing our mothers, right? So now, <clears throat> All right, so these guys, what tense are we using here? We're using present progressive, right? Present continuous, right? So now guys, we have, so we say guys here, we have a subject, okay? Uh, where is the subject in the second example? Smokers. Right, smokers, okay, we have the smokers here, right? That's the subject, and the, the third one? Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne. All right, notice, guys, that we also, in order to turn, transform this into passive voice, we need an object, okay? We need the object of the sentence, right? And the object of the sentence, guys, can be what? The object of the sentence can be what? It could be a noun. Nouns. Or a pronoun, right? Very good. So where is the object, guys, in the first example? Here. Oh, oh, the, the, the first one, the first example. Ah. Uh, Over here, the where is, okay, very good, the air, right? This mm -hmm. is the object of the sentence. The object, guys, is the same as the subject, but on a different position, okay? Very good. Uh, what about the second example, right? Where is the, where is the, uh, Where is the, 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 the object on atmosphere. the second example? Atmosphere. atmosphere, okay, so we have the atmosphere here. All right, what about <laughs> Cheyenne's example? Mothers. mothers. Our mothers, right? <laughs> Our mothers would be the object, okay? So, hey, so this is how you talk when you're talking to a person, like when you're talking to, to someone, you know? Hey, did you know that Cheyenne is stealing our mothers, right? Right now, passive voice on the contrary, guys, is not used to talk like like this. Okay, all right. Usually, guys, usually, okay. You can talk like this. You can talk in passive voice. It's just weird. Okay, passive voice, guys. Would um, you, you can encounter, you can find passive voice when you're reading, when you're reading books. You know, when you're reading formal papers. Okay, that's where you come. Uh, well, that's where you run into passive voice. Right. So now, what passive voice does, guys, is this. Okay. Right, it changes, you know, the subject and the object. Okay, it swaps positions. Okay, got it. That's what it does, guys. Why does it do it, guys? Be to highlight. Okay, this is to highlight. Do you know what highlight is, guys? <clears throat> All right, this is to highlight, guys. All right, to highlight the object of the sentence, okay? To highlight the object, okay? To emphasize on the object, got it? So you do this to emphasize what you're saying on the air, okay? Got it? So when you talk in active voice, the emphasis goes where? The emphasis goes here, guys, to the subject, to the subject guys. When you're talking in, in, in passive voice, on the contrary, right? We emphasize the idea, right? We emphasize, we emphasize the idea that we're trying to portray on the object, okay? And that's it. That's the only reason we use this, okay? Got it? All right? So, all right, in the first example, guys, in active voice, who's the movie star, right? So think about it like this, guys. This is a good way to remember this, okay? So who's the movie star here, guys? The movie star is the subject, right? Now, who's the movie star? If we come up here, all right. So if we come, if we come up here, guys, the air is being polluted. Okay, the air. What is the air here? The air was the object of the sentence. The guys. It was the object. Now it's not the object. Okay, now it is the subject. Okay. So now, guys, 
but we can say guys, okay, right? Um, we're gonna put it into parentheses just to make sure, just so you can understand guys, that this was the object before, right? So in this case, guys, the movie star was the old object, okay? So this right here, guys, this is the movie star, right? All right, so whoever, guys, who, uh, I mean, whatever falls into the position of the subject is the movie star, okay? And now in this case, guys, what happened to the subject? All right, this was the all subject and now this became the object, got it? All right. So now what happens to the, what happens to the structure? I want you guys to think about the structure, okay? Are we using present continuous? In the passive voice, guys, are we using present continuous, yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right, there's a reason, guys, uh, there is a reason why, guys, this is called, do you remember the name of the topic, guys? Present, right? It was present what? Perfect. Okay, no, right? The, well, the first one, right? Present, continuous, all right? Present, continuous, passive, right? Now, why is it called like that? Because of this, guys. Where do we have the present continuous in the, in the, in the, in the passive voice example? Where do you see the present continuous? It's being polluted. Very good, okay? The air is being polluted, it's being, okay? This right here, guys. This right here, this is the present, all right? The present continuous, okay? Now, when we talk about passive voice, we're always gonna use a past participle verb after it, okay? What is the past participle verb that we're using here? Polluted. Polluted, okay, All right, very good, guys. So this is the past participle, okay? All right, PP, All right? So this is the past participle, guys, okay? So present continuous, passive voice. Got it? All right, so present continuous, passive, guys, okay? You use the present continuous and you add a very fast participle. Now, you need, if you're gonna, remember guys, we use this to talk about the cause of something, right? Right, so we used to talk about the cause of something, right? So you need to add guys, the preposition by, okay? We're gonna use by. By tells you guys, okay, who or what did it, okay? What, what caused it? I'm sorry, okay, caused it. Who or what caused it, okay? All right, quien o que lo causó, guys, okay? So, so let me ask you something, guys. So, okay, this is like saying in Spanish, you know, hey, uh, el aire está siendo contaminado por las, uh, por el humo de los carros y los, y los, y los camiones, okay? So now, what or who is causing the action? I mean, who's, who, what or who is causing, guys, the problem? I'm sorry. Thank you. The, film, right, the films, right, from the cars and trucks, okay? And what is what is going on? What is the result? ¿Cuál es el resultado de que, de que los carros y los camiones estén con problemas de... de right? The, the result, guys, is that the air is being polluted. Understood so far, guys? Clear so far? All right, one more examples. All right, very good, guys. So let's let's do something, guys, okay? We're gonna do something better, okay? Do me a favor. I want everybody, guys, remember that I, I asked you to write down your examples, right? Do me a favor. I want everybody to write down in your notebook, guys, okay? If you don't have any questions, right? I need you to write down in your notebook. All right. I want you to transform example number two and example number three into passive voice, okay? I repeat, guys, I need you to transform example number two and example number three into passive voice in your notebook right now, okay? Let's go, all right? I'll give you two minutes. I think two minutes is enough, right? 
So, todo el mundo, guys, en el cuaderno, transformen el 2 y el 3, ¿ok? Remember, just think about cause. You can also do the cause, you know, and effect, right? Okay, so you can call effect. All right, so think about cause and effect, guys, okay? All right, guys, so once you have them, let me know. So we can move on, okay? All right, David, you ready? Um, yes. All right, so, all right, so what do you have for number two? Number two, uh, the atmosphere is being destroyed by smokers. All right, the, atmos the atmosphere, guys, not atmosphere, okay, atmosphere, all right? So the atmosphere, all right, is being destroyed by smokers, okay? Good job. By smokers, not the smokers, by smokers, okay? Very good. Um, good job, guys. What about Cheyenne, guys? Who wants to give me the Cheyenne's example? Our motors are being stolen by Cheyenne. Very good. Okay, so in that case, that will be our mothers would be, I mean, are being, I'm sorry, right? Are being stolen by Cheyenne. Okay. All right. Very true, guys. Very true. Okay. All right. So did everybody have the same answer, guys? Did you have the same answer? Did you all have the same answer? Yes, teacher. All right. Great. Okay. Good job. All right. Good job. Any questions so far, guys? So far, so good. All right. Beautiful. All right. So, so that, guys, is an example of the present continuous passive, right? Now, instead of saying bye, you can also say, instead of saying bye, you can say what, guys? All right. So could I say, guys, the air is being polluted as a result of the of fumes from cars and trucks? Of yes. the fumes from cars and trucks? Yes, I could say that, right? Yes, definitely, guys. Okay. Very good. So you can interchange them, guys. Okay. You can say by or you can say as a result of because you're talking about something that has cause and effect. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So uh, let's take a look at the present perfect passive, okay? So same thing, guys. All right, let's take a look at the first example. Um, Jenny, help me read, Jenny. All right, the first example of the present perfect passive. The roadway had been jammed because of people dependence on cars. Very good. The roadways, sorry, you need to, pay, to pronounce the S, right? The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars, okay? Very good. Now, notice this is the exact same thing, guys, all right? What is the only difference that you see between this example and this example? What is it? What is the only difference that you see here? The, the tense of the verb. The tense of the verb, right? So here we had present progressive and over here we have what present perfect right so where where do you see the present perfect 
sentence here. The roadways have been jammed, right? All right, so that is the present perfect part. Part. Where do you see the present perfect here? Many parks have been lost. All right, many parks have been lost. Okay, very good. How do you, where do you see the present perfect here? The homeless have been displaced, okay? Yeah. All right. Now, notice guys that you can say because of, you can say through or you can say due to, okay? But we're gonna go over them soon, right? Very good. So these guys, all right. Um, so these right here, guys, is the structure of, actually guys, this, this is the structure of, Present continuous, right? Present continuous passive, right? All right. Do my favor, guys. Jot it down real quick, okay? Have them in your notebook, guys, if you are not sure what the structure is, okay? This is in passive form, guys, okay? You're going to need the subject. And what is this, guys? How do we call that? B. The verb B, right? And then, so this is mandatory, guys, okay? You, you need to use it yes or yes, right? And then you need what? Present continuous. All right, you need a verb in present continuous, right? Now it says being here, guys, but actually you can use other verbs, right? Um, or can we use? Can, do you think that we can use other verbs, guys? Is that correct? Can we use other verbs? Yes. No. All right. No, no guys. Uh. -uh. Here, guys, you need to use the verb be, all right? So you need to use the verb be, guys, plus, all right, being, okay? The reason why, guys, is because this is the only way in which you will transform, in which you will be talking about a passive continuous action, okay? Otherwise, if you use another verb, you will be talking in present continuous only, okay? And then after this, guys, very important, you need a past participle, right? Which is, remember, guys, the past participle is the third form of the verb, right? So uh, example number one, Haiti. Could you please help us read, Haiti? Too many trees are being put down right now this day. Very good. Okay. Can we identify uh, Tatiana, right? Can we identify the parts of the structure uh, in this sentence. Where is the subject? Actually, everybody, right? This, too many trees, right? Too many trees, okay? That's the subject, okay? All right, then we have the verb be here, are. We have being here. And where is the past participle? Cut. Cut. All right. Actually, let's just cut down, guys, because this is a phrasal. All right. So this is a phrasal okay. verb. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. So far, so good, guys. Clear as Petrov. Yes. <laughs> all right. Very good. All right, guys. So, um, all right. That's it, guys. That's that's pretty much it, right? Now, if we jump over the uh, explanation as to why we use this, guys. Okay, this is the explanation. Okay, Rafael Mayen, could you please help me read? All right. Part, well, everything. Okay. In his popular 1980 song, American singer Rockwell sang the words, "I always, I always feel like somebody's watching me." In English, when we don't know who is performing the action of the verb, or when the subject of a sentence is not very important, we often use the passive voice. In that case, Rockwell could have sung. Example, I always, I always feel like I'm being watched by somebody. Very good, very good. Thank you, thanks, thanks a lot, Rafa. Guys, do you remember what I, do you remember what I explained regarding the reason why you, you would need a uh, passive voice versus active voice when you're, when you're, uh, when you're doing this? What is the main reason, guys? Why do we change, guys, why do we use 
passive was and not active was. Why why would we need to do that? To make emphasis. To, make, to emphasize the cause. All right, to emphasize the object of the sentence, right? So in this case, guys, okay, uh, this is why it says, why it says, you know, we don't know who's performing the action of the verb, okay? Like it doesn't matter, guys, okay? Or when the subject of the sentence is not very important, right? Because the subject of the sentence, you know, if the subject of the sentence is not very important, guys, we can we can put our emphasis on the object, okay? So that's the reason why. So here, guys, do you where do you see, all right, in the example, guys, is this is this a present continuous passive voice? Yes or no? Do we have a subject? Yes. yes. Do we have the verb? Yes or no? Yes, right? Do we have yes. being? Yes, we have being here, right? Okay. Do we have the past participle? Yes. Yes, okay. So, see? All right. And there's somebody, guys, okay, right? It's the person we don't know, okay? Although, if you know it, guys, okay, usually you can, you can, I mean, you could say, you know, by, I don't know, Cheyenne, right? Watching your, your mothers, your, right? So, you can say Cheyenne if you want it, right? But we're not going to use that, guys. If we, when we're speaking, if we already know, you know, uh, the object, okay? All right. So we have some more examples here, okay? Um, let's let's read them. Frank, help Francisco, help me read them. All of them. Yes. Okay. Examples. Carla is being pursued by the police. The city is being polluted due to a uh, littering. Thomas is being chased by a dog. Very good. What, what, how would you turn this into active voice, Alejandra? Uh, let's, let's try to transform the first one, just the first one. Me? Yes. The police. Mm, let's see, the police. Wait. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, the do. Oh, this is active. No, it says passive to active, right? Yes, passive to active. Do oh, sorry. I, I was I was thinking okay. about the other way around. Okay. Uh, the police is pursuing Carla. It's pursuing. Very good. Okay, so now you're going to use the regular uh, present continuous, right? Pursuing Carla. Good job. All right. Thank you, Alejandra. All right. Um, who else wants to try it, guys? Number two. How will you turn it into active voice? Who else wants to try it? Anybody? Right, I'll pick then, okay. Um, let's see, Haiti. All right, so how do you say the second example? How do you turn it into active voice? Other example. No, no. How do you turn the second example into active voice? Carla. No, the second being? one. The second one. The series being called. Yes. So how do you turn that into active voice? Uh, you're muted, Haiti. Um, I don't know, teacher. All right, uh, Kathy Carranza, right? How do you turn it into active voice? Littering. Littering, littering. Littering. Yes, littering the city. Very good. Littering is polluting the city. Very good, guys. Okay. All right. Make sure to turn on the cameras, guys. You need to be in the class because otherwise you're not going to be paying attention, right? Very good. Mailing. All right. Mailing. Uh, what about number three? Everybody, do, do me a favor. Do number three in your notebook. All right. Turn it into active voice. Okay. And mainly give me the example, please. If it is hard for you guys, okay, one thing that you can do is 
identify the object, okay? Second thing that you can do, guys, all right? Uh, use present continuous, okay? All right? So these are two things that you can do, okay? Identify the object, and I forgot the object and subject, right? And then use present continuous, all right? To turn it into active voice, okay? So mainly, right? Identify the object and the subject. Where is the object the, and the subject? The. Where, where is the object and the, the subject, Maylene? The. The do uh, a dog, right? Very a good. dog. And the, the subject? I'm gonna say oh. Thomas. Hold on. All right. The okay. Hold on. Where is that? Uh, I lost. Okay. So uh, Thomas. Very good. So we have Thomas, right? I will say, guys. Okay. I will say that we have to do a step number two, guys. Okay. A step number two. All right. Swap them over. Okay. So swap the position, guys. Okay. So anyways, so uh, very good. Now swap them over, okay? It means that the object is gonna be the subject this time, right? So how do you start transforming it, Bailey? Dog, a dog. A dog, uh huh? Is chasing. Is chasing. Chase, chasing. Remember, use present continuous, right? Chasing what? Thomas. Thomas, very good. Okay, good job. All right, well done. Well done, Melin. Okay, so this is how you turn it into active voice. All right, very good. So now, guys, let's talk about present, present perfect passive. Okay, uh, we're running out of time, guys. But do we have any questions, guys, relate uh, regarding regarding uh, present continuous passive, or are we good? David, please back the presentation for a screen. So. Okay. And the exercise. What exercise? Oh, I cannot. I I, I erased it. Uh. <laughs> All right, but but you can take a screenshot from the recording if you want once it's uploaded to YouTube. Okay. All right. But um, but or or guys, did did anybody take the screenshot? Guys, take a uh, did, did anybody take take a screenshot? Or did anybody take notes, guys, on the steps that you have to do to transform it into active voice? All right. If you did, guys, please send them, send them to mailing. All right. Very good, guys. So now let's talk about the present perfect passive. Okay. So what do we use the present per perfect passive for? Um, David, help me read, David. Uh, yes. Perfect is a tense that usually describes something about the past that has a connection with the present. It can describe a past experience that has importance to now, or it can refer to an action that began in the past and continues in the present, or it can express a recent action that creates consequence in this moment. Very good. Okay, guys. Okay, so it's the past with the present. Thank you, David. All right, guys, you're connecting the past with the present and present perfect, okay? In present continuous, guys, you're talking about an action that is currently happening, right? All right, like Cheyenne is stealing your mother's, okay? That's happening nowadays, okay? Now, in this case, guys, we're going to talk about the past with some sort of effect in the present, okay? So this is the structure, guys. I'll give you 30 seconds to write it down, all right? So jot down the structure, guys, all right? So take a look at this, guys, all right? What do we have in the structure? Where's the subject here? According to this, we need a subject, right? Do we have a subject? Yes, right? You is the subject, okay? We're good. All right, so this is the subject, all right? Uh, do we have the auxiliary have or has? Yes. Yes, have. right? So this is the auxiliary, okay? Auxiliary have or has, right? Very good. Do we have a past participle verb? Yes, okay, this is the yes. past participle, right? That's the past participle verb, okay? You need to use this all the time, guys, okay? Because this is what, what present perfect is all about, okay? All right, so how do we use it, guys? How do we turn it into passive, all right? 
the example is right here. Alberto, could you please help me read? The example over there? Yes. Okay, uh, too many trees have been cut down recently in the last years. Very good, all right, in the last years. Now, where is the subject here? Where do you see the subject, guys? Too many trees. Too many trees, right? All right, so we know that's too many trees, right? So this is the subject, all right? Now, um, we have the auxiliary, yes, right? So this is the auxiliary, all right? Now, notice, guys, that you have to use the verb be again, all right? This is a yes or yes, okay? You need to use been, all right? Got it, guys? You need to use been, all right? Instead of being, guys, you need to use been, all right? And then, guys, you need to use the past participle verb. <laughs> okay? Then you can add the complement, guys. You can use by, you can use as a result of, you can use recently, etc. okay? Got it, guys? All right, I'll give you another example here real quick, guys, okay? Tomorrow, guys, we're going to practice, okay? Today, guys, right, one hour for grammar is enough, okay? So, um, it's talking about present perfect passive, right? So, we have, right, give me, give me an example of present perfect. Jenny, give me one sentence in present perfect. Uh, the English test has been closed. Do two time expedition. Very good. Okay, now I just want present perfect, guys. Active voice, okay? Oh, active voice. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about a problem, guys. Let's talk about COVID, okay? Mm -hmm. COVID has taken many lives, okay? Is this active or passive, guys? Act. All right. Guys, active or passive? Is this active or passive? Active. active guys active. okay active. this is active okay right now notice all right do you remember the steps guys step number one what's step number one to transform it into passive voice step number one guys real quick many many life have, no have step been... number one step number one guys what's uh, the step number one subject identify oh, right subject. identify the subject oh. and object okay right so where is the subject and the object, guys? COVID, subject. Okay. All right, so this is subject, okay? And lies is the object, okay? Objects. Very good, okay? Remember, guys, we need to have an object. Otherwise, you cannot do this, okay? If there is no object, guys, there is no passive, okay? All right, step number two, guys. What was step number two? Guys, step number two. This should be in your notebook. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Change the order. Change All right, so swap them over, right? Swap them over, okay? All right, so the this is going to become the subject, and then COVID will become the object of the sentence, right? Over here, All right? Very good. So what is step number three, guys? Use the present continuous. Now, in this case, we're not going to use the present continuous. What are we going to use instead? Present perfect. All right. Okay. So turn it into, right? So you're going to turn it into present perfect passive, okay? Now, this one is going to be present perfect passive, okay? So let's do that, guys. Okay. So now, guys, we're going to, the object, right? We're going to start with the object, lies, right? Or many lives, many lives. All right, what is the structure, guys? According to the structure, what am I going to use here? Has many been. lives, what? Okay. Have, Has very good. Have. have been, okay? And Take then it. what? What do I need? Taken. 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 Very good. And then what do I need? By COVID. By. You can say by COVID. Right by COVID, or you can say, or you can say, of... you can say yes, guys. I was gonna mention that, right? So you can say that, guys, or you can say, you know, 
as a result. Hold on. You can say as a result of COVID, or you can say due to COVID. What else can you say? You can say because of COVID, although because of would be really informal, guys. What else can you say? You can use other, all right, you can, you can, um, you can use other expressions, guys, to join them together, right? But pretty much, guys, it's the same thing, right? All right, so uh, we'll, we're gonna go over practice tomorrow, guys. Okay, do we have, do we have any questions, guys? Do you need more examples? Do you need any clarification? Yes. Tell me, David. No, no, more examples. <laughs> more examples. Okay, right. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right, uh, you guys give me more examples with this, okay? I'm gonna ask everybody right now, real quick. Jenny, give me one example in passive voice. Can I erase this, guys? Did you take a screenshot already? Yes. All right, very good. Yes, I got it. All right, very good. So, uh, uh, Jenny, let's go. Give me one example. Think about a problem, okay? A problem with society. The too many tree had been cut down because of the overbuilding. Okay, too many trees is the example that we have. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Too many trees have been cut down by Siman, right? Very good. All right, uh, so let's use this, guys. Okay, if you're a Siman family member, guys, I'm sorry. All right, um, uh, Rafael, give me another example. Beaches have been polluted. Beaches, okay. Beaches have been polluted. Be polluted by tourists. By tourists, okay. All right, very good. Um, Maylin, give me another example, okay. Let's talk about, Beaches let's, talk, let's talk about teachers, tourists. okay. Teachers. Teachers what? I don't know, baby. Cheers. All right. What is the structure? Just follow the structure, Melin. If you don't know, it's because you're not following the structure. So what comes in the structure? According to your notes, what should I use next? Teacher has been. Have, not has. Has is for third has, person. Have been. Have been, been uh-huh. And then what comes next? Huh? Super. Helper, guys. Helper. What comes next, guys? Yeah. Bye. Past participle. All right. So, David, what is your example? A stolen by the All right. Teachers have been stolen by Gujo. All right. Dua Lipa. All right. Very good. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, um, Nori, give me one other example, Nori. Follow the structure, guys. All you have to do is follow the structure. You know, Nuri, do you have another example? All right, you're muted, Nuri. If you, I, I think you didn't know. Teacher, um, the example can, can be my dog has been. My dog has been. Uh huh. Broken. You cannot break your dog. <laughs> my dog has been. What do you mean? You maybe you know my dog's legs have been broken. All right? Las piernas de mi perro se han quebrado. All right? You can say that, right? But you cannot break the dog. Um, right? You 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 break. I mean, a dog breaks its bones, right? But yeah, you can say something like this, okay? All right. So tomorrow, guys, okay, um, tomorrow we are going to have, guys, uh, practice on this, okay? So don't worry. We're, you'll get your practice. Study, guys. Watch the video. If you didn't understand something, guys, watch the video, okay? Ask me questions um, so, so you can, so you can, um, 
work on this without any issues okay guys by the way how are we how are we doing with the platform did we all finish section one and two already yes no? one and two done all right very good very good uh yes kathy all right let's work on the platform okay only in section one i don't i don't have time but maybe later all right i i you do need to finish it guys because otherwise you're gonna have uh english corporative on, on top of you um like the whole day okay anyway so um any questions guys comments regrets <laughs> no all right very good guys in that case guys um thank you very much guys be early tomorrow as well um and uh have a good night guys all right take care bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. bye. Have a good night bye bye guys <laughs>